and hopefully in a month once this whole thing gets you know painted and I get all of like my equipment in there I will be coming to you with a Vietnamese iced coffee So for the past year, while I was on tour, I've been working really hard on this business plan here. You see this? Like really thick. This business plan was for a brick and mortar, which I'm still going to do. But because of COVID-19, finding funding has been really, really difficult. A lot of banks and a lot of investors right now are really focused on fixing small businesses as they should. Um, but trying to find funding to start a new business is almost impossible. So with that being said, I had to adjust and be malleable to the times. And so instead of starting a brick and mortar right now, I recently purchased a tiny home. So the tiny home used to be a coffee cart here and the woman ran it for about a year. She doesn't have time to do it anymore. So I took it over. I bought it. I'm going to start demoing it. I'm going to redecorate it but it's pretty much already set up to be a coffee shop and that's what my next move is gonna be. I'm gonna be Cafe Cafe Mobile and I'm hoping to go into the community instead of having the community come to me. And this way, I really wanna continue my business with being in, in the community, right? I wanna be able to bring Vietnamese iced coffee to all parts of Kansas City. I'm not scaling down my menu at all. I'm still gonna have my signature drinks. It's still gonna be five signature Vietnamese drinks and everything else from a regular coffee shop that you would get. And I'm still gonna have some pastries. All I am is scaling down the size of my shop and me. It's gonna be me for now. And then once business gets a little booming, I'm gonna add more employees. But for right now, it's just gonna be me traveling to different parts of Kansas City. At first, I was a little nervous about doing the cart, but now I am even more excited about doing the cart than the brick and mortar. None of us knew that this was gonna happen, but that's okay. COVID-19, she's not gonna affect me. Corona's not gonna affect me. I'm gonna make this work, you know? Um, it's been a really tough journey. I thought, why was I doing a brick and mortar for a, you know, a service industry type business while a lot of service industries were shutting down. But I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna give up and I'm gonna keep pivoting, I'm gonna keep going. It will adjust to COVID-19. There's gonna be social distancing. I'm gonna still be able to go into the neighborhoods and still see the people. We'll be able to be a part in the cart, but I'll still be able to hand you everything that you need. I would rather that than not be able to open at all and not be able to meet new friends and be in the coffee community. So I'm hoping that this little pivot and adjustment to, you know, a pandemic is actually gonna just benefit me and actually, you know, be a blessing in disguise. This is why I'm really excited because I get to explore different parts of Kansas City and I get to go to you. Hopefully I can even go to like a cul-de-sac, you know, like ice cream man status. Come get your Vietnamese iced coffee. You guys, it's happening. I'm Jackie Nguyen, I am Cafe Cafe, and I cannot wait to serve my Vietnamese iced coffee to you.